Square root of 25. Truth. What's the square root? You know that. Where, O oh death, is thy victory? Lord, we thank you for the gift of your resurrection and its promise to us. Lord, take unto thee the souls of your faithful Anton and Gabriella Vinci. Eternal rest grant to them, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon them. May they rest in peace. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen. It's just starting to sink in. I'm gonna miss them so much. I just hope the kids will accept me as their parent, Cass. Oh, that'd be great, Poppy. I just wish we lived closer. I've been offered a position at a law firm here, so we'll see. You got your grace to find a way I'll wait you through these things away You gotta think about these days About these days Get on your knees and start to pray Straps with the buttons on the front. It makes it easier to change your diapers.
Morning, class. Morning, 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 Professor Goldstein. Everybody have your project updates? Well, um, shall we begin? Well, Miss Vinci, it looks like you're first and only. The project I'm developing is an electromagnetic wave mood variance monitor, or mood gun for short, that remotely measures primary human emotional levels, or moods, with accuracy. Each emotion generates an internal electromagnetic field with a slightly different wavelength. An EM signal beamed toward a person is modulated by the internal emotional fields and reflected back. The modulated reflected wave is then compared to pre-programmed parameters and converted into a pie graph with each color representing the six basic emotions. Ms. Vinci, can you enlighten us as to how you differentiated between the emotional fields? Quite simple, Professor. I've performed extensive tests on multiple volunteers, exposing them to predetermined situations on video. As I measured their response, I noted each emotion generated a specific variant in the EM field. Excellent, Miss Vinci. Fascinating project. <clears throat> Please report to my office after class. Sorry I'm late. Am I in trouble? No. Providing you keep your retaliation bloodless. They're bullies! They deserve it. Well, Miss Vinci, to your question, the faculty were concerned you hadn't applied to a graduate program. I gave it considerable thought, Professor, but Poppy's getting on in years. I worry about leaving him alone. Hmm. I see. I mean, you've already identified the potential for using the ray gun as a medical diagnostic tool. That alone could qualify you for a fellowship. But Professor, I just turned 12. Chronologically. And I'm unaware of any research group seeking preteen staff. Which grad school wants an adolescent in their program? I'd be a huge legal liability. Maybe, but I'm sure they'd focus on your mental abilities. Your extraordinary learning capacity. So, Professor, would I be the researcher or the lab rat? Uh, oh! Well, surprise, surprise. Uh, 
And we don't have a suitable program for you at this college, so the faculty promoted your abilities elsewhere. We've received inquiries from three prominent universities, and that came from Stanford U just yesterday. Thank you, Professor. Thank you so, so much. It would be tragic to let this opportunity slip away, Glory. <laughs> It's coming along. You ready for me to review? I reconfigured the circuitry to increase effective range. I think I got it now. Oh, it's looking real good, sweetie. So, uh, what was that envelope? Fantastic glory! Why didn't you tell me? Stanford invited Glory to apply to their graduate research program! Hooray! I get the bathroom all to myself. Arg, a smelly boy fouls the air. Hardy hard. At least I changed my underwear this week. What are you doing in my lab? Uh, what's up, Truth? Soon. Hmm? <laughs> Congratulations, me Angela. Oh, fantastico. I still need to apply. Oh, that's a formality. They want you. But the costs are huge, so it can't happen. Maybe we could get a patent on the ray gun and sell the rights. That could pay my costs. Well, then you need to finish this. Look, 40%. He was looking at the family photos this afternoon. All right. Uh, all right, you're going to find out anyway. The lawyer from the homeowners called, and we, we owe them three months' rent. Why didn't you pay? 
I had to pay for the new lab equipment. I thought it was more important. Now we got no money. So what then? They're gonna get an eviction notice. We're being evicted? Evicted? If we can't pay. What's... Where are we gonna go, Grandpa? I, had I don't know, Tutu. If I can't take care of you, uh, they could put you both in foster homes and I couldn't do nothing about it. But you're our legal guardian, right? They can't just form us up to foster parents. You should call Aunt Cassie. But if we could get a patent, huh? we could make enough dough to pay the rent and your tuition and we wouldn't need a lawyer. How do we do that? Oh. Where's our money, Giuseppe? Got a stash in a cookie jar? Yeah, cookies are a buck each. You're two weeks behind, deadbeat. There better be ten grand in that jar. Get him a bones. Where's the rest? That, that's all I got, Mosey. This just covers the vig, and you still owe 60 large. We're gonna need 10 grand next week, plus a grand for the vig, or... We play batting practice with your knees. Come on, Mosey. I'm behind in the rent, and I gotta take care of my kids. Then you better sell a freaking kidney. Oh. And Grandpa! I'll give you another week. But you better find the dough. Capiche? Hey, boss. Looks interesting. contact Stanford and see if they can offer me a scholarship. Oh, 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 Glory, that's fantastic. He said no promises, but it's worth a try. I'm gonna finish my mood gun. They may want an example of my work. Okay. Uh, okay, Truth, you ready? Here come the pop fly. Anymore. This isn't Nudentro. 
Is it fixed? It appears the mood gun has read Poppy's credit card data. Hmm. Yeah, fantastico. I need to work on this. function for the ray gun. So you were celebrating? No, the ray gun made me ticklish all over and I couldn't control myself. Oh, Mamita, what next? Can you do it to me? Sure, hold on to your pants. Function is good for medical. And the tickle function could replace stun guns. But a credit card reader could be huge. Someone could use it for illegal purposes. Oh, well, yeah, you, you're right, and we don't want no trouble, but um, a, a credit card reader could be used by, by businesses like a busy supermarket. You don't have to take out your card. They just scan you with the credit card reader. But it reads all the cards. How do they know which one to charge? They ask, of course. What if it reads someone else's cards? Um, free food. But seriously, this function crosses into identity theft. Hmm. What happened uh, from the original design? Well, the impact disconnected the front end linear integrator and converted it from mood gun to card reader. So I installed a rotary switch that manually performs the bypass. Awesomely cool, huh? The rotary switch also controls a compensator that adjusts power output proportionate to target distance. We don't want any more butt burns. Mm. No, I got a credit card branded right here. Key grams. Whenever you go to the checkout, you should just pop your butt on a scanner. <laughs> Switch on low. That kid has some kind of weapon. What the hell? He just shot at us. Freeze! Go 
Drop the weapon immediately. Freeze, girly, right now! All of you, hands behind your head! Hey, you got no reason to search these kids. You got an idea, old man? Yeah, in my back pocket. You want to reach back there, tickle me a little? Quit being cute, old timer. You got ID for these kids? Gee, so I forgot my library card. Kid, that oh, mouth oh. is going to get you a heap of trouble. Ah. And you'd best not be pointing weapons at police cars. Oh. For goodness sake, it's not a weapon, it's a toy! Girly, do you know how many officers are killed by so-called toy guns every year? Um, none. This is the female you want searched? She's just a kid. A little kid. Big mouth. Really? It's quite evident that diplomacy is not an element of your training regimen. I see what you mean. Come on. Come with me, Miss Smarty Pants. Ah. Mom, Mom, you look at that. I thought we lost everything. Never disobey police officers. We have lots of data. Let's test your credit cards, Poppy. <laughs> Looks okay. Sitting in my room, thinking about all the crazy things we love to do. Just me and you. Good evening, Glory. Hope you are well. System is ready. Thank you, Maddie. I am well. Access file, mood gun. File, mood gun, ready. Credit card heating up and smoking. Caused by interaction between electromagnetic fields and a variant module in the card strip. Solutions? Introduced frequency modulation circuitry. Research complete. No alternate solution. Thank you, Maddie. And such. Lights, turn off. The dream, sweetheart. Love you. Love you. Pleasant dream, sweetheart. Love you. So, is this your invention, Mr. Vinci? Actually, uh, my 12-year-old granddaughter invented it. Hmm, 12 years old? Very interesting indeed. This mood gun has commercial potential. Tell me, what's the other function? It's a card reader. A card reader? A credit card reader. You aim at someone, you pull the trigger, the signal bounces off of the cards and sends the data back. Remarkable. Have you tested it? Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, now, we, uh, we have a little trouble, huh? but we fix it. But it read the cards. Oh, accurately. All right. Uh, gentlemen, please excuse me just for a moment. Giuseppe, you never told us about the card reader. Yeah, my glory. My glory invented that too. The kid is worth the weight in diamonds. Yeah. <sighs> Mr. Vinci, we feel strongly that a card reader would be illegal. However, the mood gun has potential. No card reader. How much potential? Well, we would need to do a marketing study. But devices like this can have huge sales. Tell you what, if you modify the drawings to show just the mood gun, not the card reader, we'll be happy to represent you for a fee, of course. Um, Mr. Dowson, if you think the mood gun has potential, then you should be happy to take this project. Molte grazie for your time. Thank you, sir. Just 
give me one more month. Huh? I, I, I got a great deal going. Frankly, your payment history is a disgrace. No more excuses. E excuses? What, what excuse? I don't need no stinking excuse. You receive payment by the duty, oral file of eviction. My house. You, you stinking asshole client stole it from me. Family, Morse. And you too, Bones. So, you called. What do you got? I gotta pay you. I gotta pay rent. I, <clears throat> I need money. You know the program, right? Yeah, yeah, I hear all about the big fortune. Look, I get jail time if I get caught. I told you, I got kids. Would you hear me out? Or are we just gonna sip espresso and discuss the weather? I'm listening. All right, Giuseppe. Here's what I'll do just for you. Like I said, you deliver the data and we provide you credit cards in return. Use the cards at ATMs. You pay us 10 Gs a week until you finish paying off the 60 G's you owe. After that, we split the ATM 50-50. Are you with me so far? Yeah. Good. Now, you tap an ATM, you do not return to that machine for a month. Hit as many as you want, but one card per transaction and one card per ATM, one. And wear a good disguise, not some Halloween crap. They got you on camera. And please, don't do drag. Questions? Yeah, two. First, I'm gonna look crazy. I go around shooting people with a ray gun. Yeah, you're right. An old man wandering around pointing a ray gun would not look copacetic. The kids need to be part of this. That's a crazy... You think I'm gonna let my kids go around shooting people with a ray gun so I can steal money? They will if they don't want to see Grampy in the wheelchair. What else? I'm gonna need a vehicle to get around to the ATMs. <laughs> yeah, uh, we'll send over a limo. How 
about a freak in your house. Buy yourself a clunker and add it to the vig. But the kids need to help you collect data. There's 20 accounts. So, Pops, what's the magic word, huh? Abracadabra. <laughs> Glory home. Oh, hey, Glory, sweetie, come in here a minute, huh? What's wrong? The lawyer called again today. They're gonna issue an eviction notice in one week. No, but, but I get lucky. Yeah, I, I meet two businessmen at the patent attorney. Businessmen? They're very interested in the ray gun. Yeah, they, they say if we collect lots of credit card data and pass the information to them, they're gonna make credit cards and we can use them to go get cash from the ATMs. And they even give me a cash advance to buy a vehicle so we can go visit the ATMs. That's a serious crime, Poppy. You're right. But I gotta keep us off the street. If we don't go along with this plan, we're gonna have to find a vacant park bench. And if we do go along with this plan, one day that park bench will seem like a five-star resort. I'm being it. I can't live without my family. If you go to jail, we won't have a family. Give it back. Give it back. Let me be clear, Signore Vinci. We sealed our deal when you took the advance. But I just give it back. That deal involves illegal activities, which renders it no. Excuse me, have you ever heard the expression, honor among thieves, huh? I thought you were businessmen. Hey, Giuseppe, put a muzzle Avoiding on this. Avoiding honor and thievery seems like a ploy to justify illegal activities. Children should be seen, not- Anyway, it's irrelevant. I will not allow my invention to be used for legal purposes. I will destroy the drugs and the ray gun. So there. So there? So. So there. Let's see if this will change your mind. No! Stop! Let go of it! Stop! No! Get off of it! Stop! Like this! Let go! What? 
out of our house. And get out or I'll shoot. Tutti, no, put it down. Put it down. These are bad guys, Poppy. I said, get out. Both of you. Both of you. Don't, Both of you. don't do it! Oh! You better stop, kid. Or I squeeze till your eyeballs pop. Oh. 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 Wow. Four misfires. It won't be my lucky day. Yes, Mr. Bones. Very lucky for you, I disabled the firing mechanism. You should thank me for saving you. Very clever, Glory. How about this one? Quite impressive, Glory. And Truth, very brave to defend your grandpa like that. But I think we got a uh, communications issue here. So children, listen to me carefully. Your poppy owes us $60,000 he lost making bets. And he also tells us that he's three months behind in the rent and you're gonna be homeless. So, if you find it immoral, illegal, or repulsive to collect credit card data, and then to get cash from ATMs using fake credit cards, and this causes Poppy to skip out on his payments, we'll need to employ extremely unpleasant options. Care to know what that entails? Well then, I'll elaborate. First, we pour concrete around Poppy's feet and take him for a dip in the lake. Next, there's a certain madam in town specializes in procuring young boys and girls, especially young virgins, for a Mideast slave ring. You've heard of child trafficking, haven't you, Glory? Is that frightening Glory? Virgin, are you not? Glory. Why did you gamble, Gramps? I don't know. I don't know. I Glory gonna graduate. You're gonna be in high school. I see this big empty space in my life. And so I make some small bets, and I win, and then I make some bigger bets, and I win, and I didn't think I was ever gonna lose. Then you did. So why didn't you tell us? <sighs> I was ashamed. I risked everything. I put us all in danger. I'm so sorry.
sneaking up from behind. Wow, cool gun. Nitro? Let's look for alien. You go that way. Copy, meet us in the parking lot. Truth and I need to catch them before they get to their car. Hey! Hey! That's my ray gun! It's mine! We traded! Are you some kind of junior con man? You traded fair and square! It wasn't his to trade, it's mine! So give it back! Oh, no you don't! You hey. did trade it, so be on your way! Hey, enough! No pushing my kids like that! Here's and his toy, mister. Now give mine back. Your little brat brother traded, and now you want it back? He needs a lesson. No. See? No trade. Now give it back. Son, go get in the car. No more swapping guns, okay? We have 52 uncrafted files. Mm, a full deck. That ought to make Mosey happy. Can I pour for you, Signor Mazzatano? Eh, molti grazie, Signorina Vinci. Signor Bonaiuto. And some for Gramps. Can't leave him out of the celebration, Miss Vinci. No need to worry, Mosey. We're all out of arsenic. Arsenic. Make mine a double. Here's to a profitable relationship. Salute. Salute. So, what's the occasion? 
I have a payment for you. Really? For what? For the gambling bet he lost. Oh look, a lovely teddy bear. Bones, take a look at that. Oh yeah, boss. Real cute. Solid. Gee, boss, I always wanted to whack a teddy bear. Now, who was the little genius rigged this, huh? Naughty girlie, I ought to spank you till you can't sit for a week. If you hurt me, you're a glutter, Mr. Bonayuto. Now let me go! Now, where were we? Ah, yes, Giuseppe. I believe you have something that belongs to us. Seven thousand? Where's the rest? Oh, say I, I gotta pay the back rent or they're gonna evict us. Oh, where is it? <sighs> Glory, truth, please stand. I said stand up! <sighs> Mosey. Well, hello, madam. I just wanted to show you the young girl genius we spoke about. Oh, yes. Yeah, her and her brother are here with me now. A choice candidate. Top dollar. The boy also. Oh, bastard! Choice. <laughs> Where's it at, Pops of the Bambinia next? <laughs> hey! <laughs> Money. Just leave my kids out of this. Make your payments on time, Giuseppe. And don't lecture me about the kids. You brought them into this. Anything else? See you next week, grandfather. I'm shocked that Blader's rushing to evict you since you've paid so promptly in the past. We're gonna be homeless. Look, if you can pay even a small amount, it'll show your intent to honor the rental contract. I, I told him. I a month, I can pay it all. Good. I'll prepare a notification of intent and I'll come by tomorrow. How are Glory and Truth? I'm sorry I haven't been by. I've just been so busy. <laughs> uh, the good news is that Glory got an offer to join the graduate research program at Stanford. Oh, that's fantastic news, Poppy. I can't wait to see them again. Yeah,
right here. Can you describe the problem? My grandfather's having a heart attack. We're about to administer CPR. Please send an ambulance. Is an adult on the premises? Just us adolescents. Okay, so roll the I know CPR. Call the damn paramedics. <sighs> I'm applying rapid compression. He stopped breathing. He just stopped breathing. Help me, Drew. Hurry. Put your hands on mine. When I press down, you do too. Check his pulse, please. Are you the Vincy kids? First, you did great with the CPR. Grandpa is doing well, but he needs a coronary bypass. The good news is, we already have him scheduled for tomorrow morning. Can he die? It's a serious surgery, son. There's always a risk. Can we see him? Sure. Hold on a minute. He said the kids are in some kind of danger, and he's the guardian. Should we call Child Protective Services? That's a good idea. Hey kids, Grandpa's still under sedation, but you can sit in the room with him. Follow me. Children, do you understand that this is for your own care and protection? We're quite capable of caring for ourselves, Miss Armstrong. <laughs> Sorry, dear. You both are underage with no adult guardian, so we're placing you with foster parents until your grandfather is well. You should be grateful we have a nice home to care for you. In fact, they've just arrived. Well, well, well. What do we have here? Oh, this is definitely Carva. Kids, meet your foster parents, Mr. and Mrs. Benedict. Miss yeah. Armstrong, we had an incident with these, um... people last week at the mall. 
and they accused us of cheating their son. They no, are no, 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 no. See, that's all been resolved. And I am sure that Bobby will be very excited to see you again. Yes, and he will have some new playmates. Have a little talk. Agent Armstrong said that you attend college, Glory. Is that correct? Don't you feel out of place? It seems unfair to have a mere child competing with college age students. It isn't a competition, Mrs. Benedict. You've got quite the arrogant attitude there, young lady, if you ask me. Well, Mr. Benedict, you weren't asked. My, what a snotty little twerp! You just earned your first day in solitary! But I have a class project due tomorrow. And if I don't submit it, I'll fail the courses! Well, seeing as you're so much smarter than everybody else, I don't see how missing one day is gonna affect you. And what is this project? Well, the mood gun Bobby took from Truth. Are you serious? A toy gun? I heard talk about the ray gun. It's a mood gun. But I have a plan to develop it to a medical diagnostic instrument. <laughs> Seriously? You're gonna make a medical diagnostic instrument out of that piece of crap? What do you want, drugs? My sister isn't on drugs. And she's the smartest girl in the world. Shut up, boy. If I want you to talk, I'll let you know. Actually, this medical thingy sounds interesting. <laughs> yeah, Bobby, your new space gun can tell if people got zits or something. <laughs> it isn't his space gun! I said shut up! Now go stand in the corner or I'll take my belt to your hide. I said now, boy! Well, since it's so important, I'll take you to your house tomorrow before class so you can pick up your, uh, project. We'll postpone your stay in solitary. But I want it! Oh, no, 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 Bobby, I am sure once she shows it to the class, Glory will be happy to let you play with it. Ain't that right, Glory? You should get a good night's rest. Tomorrow will be a big day for you, and you've got lots of chores. cell phone so I can call the hospital and check up on our grandpa. My parents don't let me play video games. They say they're too violent. Bobby, I'm so worried about my grandpa in the hospital. I really need to find out about him. Can you get me my cell phone? My parents would kill me. Oh, please, please, Bobby. He's so sick. Well, okay, but swear you'll let me play with the ray gun whenever I want. I promise. and make the call and give it back. Gone and 
should be useful. If I had a thousand tongues I would sing with everyone Voices like a mountain song Sing you are my only one Oh my, oh my, oh my days Life is wonderful Life is wonderful thousand ships just to be about your lips Up at him, bro. You've got lots to do today to stay away. Just to see you every day Oh my, oh my, oh my days Life is wonderful I'm starving Life is wonderful I have lost to do today. So get moving! Get breakfast on the way. I can't get moving on an empty stomach. It's been proven that hunger kids can't eat Here. Food. I need food, sis. Food! 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 We need to leave here! Leave! Depart! Exit! Now go do your morning thing! jail. Man, stop engine! <sighs> Truth, this may be our last chance, and I am so done with us being victims. So listen up. Wow, sis. What's with your panties? Seriously? Poppy had a heart attack, and he's having heart surgery! He owes the mobsters 60 grand, and if he can't pay, they'll pour him a pair of cement boots and drop him in a lake. I'm so sorry I didn't shoot them. I wish you didn't fix Poppy's gun. We're lucky I disabled it, or we'd all be in jail! Blader is going to possess our home and boot us into the streets, where we'd be fortunate to inhabit a large cardboard box. But CPS wants to protect us, so they'll send us to the psycho foster parents from hell. 
and the greedy mobsters will surely find us anyway. And now sell us to the malevolent madam who will deliver us to traffickers in the primitive Mideast. So, yeah, I am so done with us being victims. <sighs> Besides, doofus, you're hungry, we need gas, and we have Poppy's credit cards. I knew that. And after the ATM, we have another stop. DPS, locate the spy shop. Hey, Mom and Dad, I'm doing well. Oh, can't you tell? So there's no need to blame yourselves. Fast tracks, I'm highly trained. And this is how I stay entertained. It's because I like to fight about it. So I fight down, taste blood. Go to the kitchen and start talking. Over. Are we having broccoli for dinner again? Okay, one more. Go to the dining room. Over. I shot the mosey, but I swear it was in self-defense. Awesomely cool. Let's see if I'm this one, mosey. Okay, bro, we're good. Over and out. Testing, one, two. Perfecto. I'm inquiring about patient Mr. Giuseppe Vinci. He had surgery today. Poppy home? Sorry, Nancy. He had bypass surgery this morning and he's in recovery. Oh my god. He just called me the other day to help fight the eviction. I'm so sorry. Can he have visitors? Maybe, but we can't go. Because the hospital staff routed us to CPS. They think we need foster care till he's well. Last night we escaped the foster home from the hell. Yeah, baby. We're like desperados. That's outrageous. Well, I can help with the CPS thing. I also have some documents for Grandpa to sign on the eviction, so if you can come with me to the hospital. <gasps> so we don't just stay with our psycho foster family? Well, I'm your aunt, so I'm pretty sure I can qualify as your legal guardian. Yes! <laughs> come on. I'll bet it was Blader caused this with his eviction threat. Oh my god, there's so much more. Oh, Poppy. Poppy, they said you're going to fully recover. Gonna be okay. You look weird with all those student wives. Poppy, Cassie brought us here. She's going to help us with the eviction. Remember? Hi, Giuseppe. Thank you for helping with this, Cassie. I'm glad to hear you're gonna be well again. Well, I got two guardian angels. Talk about the house. I'm okay. I just, just I, I got no money, Cassie. Poppy, we got this from an ATM. Oh, Mama Mia! No, you're not supposed to do that. I told you, it's legal, Grandpa. I used your credit cards. He 
is too excited, folks. Mr. Vinci, are you okay? I don't feel nothing. Is that okay? If you don't feel any pain, you're okay. Giuseppe, I'll gladly lend you the back rent. That should hold Blader off until you recover. Gracias, mire, Cassia. I, I promise I'm gonna pay you back, even if I have to sell my soul. You already did that, Gramps. You just focus on getting better and let me worry about the kids. I'll pay Tom and have him quash the eviction. Or we'll file suit, asserting that the stress that he created has caused you personal injury and suffering. I should have called you so. Strike two, people. This man just had open heart surgery. It's not like we removed a wart. Maybe we should go. Thank you, nurse. We won't upset him again. Poppy, remember when we discussed having a legal guardian for the children just in case? Yeah, a long time ago, yeah. The chickens have come home. Lousy chickens. They want us protected. Uh, they need a legal guardian now, and I would love to do that. You're gonna do that too? I promise to take really good care of the kids. Oh, I guess that's our execute. Kids, why don't you meet me at the car? I need to talk to Poppy for another minute. This says that the children are my responsibility until you are released. Thing. The kids told me about Bones and Mosey. I can help with that as well. Now I have three and Julie. I'll see you tomorrow, Poppy. These are not your kids. Now move it! I'm not budging till you let them go. Off the hood and step out of the way, ma'am. This is official CPS business. Not until you release my children! Your children? I'm with CPS. Their granddad is incapacitated and reported they're in danger, so this is an official matter for CPS. Officer, this woman is irrational and she's endangering these children. I am their aunt and their attorney. And now I'm their legal guardian, so back off! Woo! I don't care about your paper. I've got paper too. That changed. Mr. Vinci just gave me custody. They are in danger, Miss Salvatore. They need protection, so it's an official matter for CPS. 
they are now my responsibility. And if they are in danger, then I will contact the police directly. Officer, please remove this handcuff or I will file a false arrest complaint. Officer, this woman is obstructing me in the performance of my duty. Thank you, officer. Now, if you don't mind. Hello, Professor Goldstein. Hello, Lori. We missed you in class today. Are you all right? Sorry I couldn't be there. Poppy had bypass surgery today. Oh. I'm so sorry. Did it go well? He'll be fine. He just needs time to recuperate. Am I in trouble? Again? No, of course not. I have information about the grad school offer, but maybe I should hold off. No, no, please. I'd love to hear about it now. Can you come for dinner? There's definitely a disconnect between your abilities and the way people relate to you. It's the story of my life, Auntie. People can't seem to reconcile my age with my mental ability. That'll get better as you get older. But in the meantime, we women must be strong and assertive. And we must fight for our rights and convictions, or else we'll wind up barefoot and pregnant and chained to the proverbial kitchen stove. <laughs> Onions? Call me a woman. Oh, Glory, you are a woman. So much more than many others. Professor Goldstein, you remember my brother, Truth. And this is Cassie Salvatore, our aunt, lawyer, and guardian. Oh, pleased to meet you, Cassie. Likewise, Bernie. So you went to the grad school offer? Cassie, what do you think? Well, she's underage, so no dorm. Living off campus, she'll need to be with an adult. Glory, what if Poppy and Truth were to move there too? It's up to Poppy, but I think he'd love that. What about you, Truth? Well, as long as Mosey and Bones don't find us. We need to put those vermin behind bars. Any ideas? I tried to secretly record their threats, but Maddie got busted. Literally. So I totally bugged the house. I'm doubtful they'll want to meet here again. No see Stanford could do more for me. Release all your worries, girl. Dismiss all your fears. Just be present with me, please. Just be here right here. Get out of your head and into your body. Buonasera. Very pleased to meet you, Miss Salvatore. Delighted, Cassie. Good evening. Pleased to meet you, Mr. Mosentano. Mr. Bonaiuto. To what do we owe this surprise visit, gentlemen? Just checking to see the kids are okay. We heard Grandpa's in the hospital. And, uh, we brought them something. 
Hey, kids. You okay? Just peachy, thank you. Can we talk? We were just leaving, so maybe tomorrow. We'll just be a minute. We were shocked Poppy had a heart attack. Hmm, yeah, sure, I'll bet. Oops, bad choice words. Can I get you something to drink? Coffee? I'm good. No thanks. So, you brought us something? Haha, <laughs> first uh, security <laughs> check. <clears throat> Cell phones. On the table, ladies. Turned off. Glory, where's your brother? He needs to hear this too. Truth, come here. Kid, you got a cell phone? So, Poppy's health is a problem, but he still owes us 50 grand. So we expect the payments to continue. Capiche? Wait, you're expecting these children to break the law? That's exactly what I'm saying, Cassie! And and now that these little demons made you part of this and ratted us out on all the details, you're gonna take Poppy's place in helping them collect. And you're all gonna pay off the debt or else! I just gave you a stack of new credit cards. So, next week, we expect the payment of 10 grand, plus the VIG, and 50 files of new card data. And if I don't agree? If the cement shoes fit. Not my style of footwear, Mr. Bonayuto. And are you going to try to sell us all to your slave trader, Mr. Mosentano? <laughs> Fortunately for you, Miss Salvatore, there's no demand for cougars. But we still got that deal with the madam we don't get paid. Are you clear on what you're gonna do? Very clear, Mr. Mosentano. You got no idea what we could do to you, sweetheart.
family recipe, Cass? My mom's Sicilian mm. style. Mm. Mm. It's uh, the best lasagna I ever had. Well, before everybody gets too groggy from eating this delicious Italian food, I have an announcement. This concerns a young lady I was privileged to have in my classes at Phoenix College. Mm -hmm. I was notified yesterday that uh, Stanford University, the top medical research college in the US, is offering Miss Glory B. Vinci a full graduate scholarship. <gasps> <laughs> They're highly interested in your portable, non-invasive medical diagnostic instruments. And they'll move your entire home lab. It gets better. They're going to relocate the entire Vinci family and provide them appropriate quarters near campus. <laughs> and they're offering Poppy a job as a lab assistant no. with benefits. <laughs> and Truth gets to attend the private school with employee dependents. I heard they have an excellent baseball team. Oh, yeah. oh, I, I think I'm in heaven.
will know what hurts. <laughs> 